Is that Justice Green? Justice Green? You're working, at, you're working things with, um, Autumn. with Autumn? Yeah. What a great tandem. Did you know that Katie Gentry was here? I saw on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't even notice he almost tripped. Yeah, that was the best. I saw you laughing at something, and then I turned around and I went, Why are you filming me, Jim? Documentary, Dave. Oh, no, it's just, it's just it's footage so for you to sit home and study to get me down even better. Uh, <laughs> our new sitcom, Incomes O'Hara. What's that? That's our new sitcom, Incomes O'Hara. Incomes O'Hara? Yeah, that's the name of your new sitcom. That's oh, I kind of like it. Guys, shift's the same as last night. You remember what you did last night, right? Please, please remember what you did last night, the speed in which you did them. Please uh, try to replicate that for tonight. Um, we should be going down uh, with this show somewhere around 10, I mean 10 or 15 after 9, which means we have a quick turnaround for the 10.30 show. All right? Um, I mean, if you don't want to get out of costume, I totally understand. Um, those things are going to be so nasty by the end of the night. Um, but, like I said, do your best to try to pace yourselves about what's happening. Give, give as much as you can, but don't give everything away, because you have a second show. There was another hand that was going up before I hit um, young Noah over here. Yes. Noah? Okay, um, you know how you've been letting us know after the shows? We're not doing that after the second show, right? Well, you just I, I, I mean, I guess you can. Only for but, you know, guys, you guys tend to milk that stuff. And that's why I kind of killed the, um, that parade, because for one thing, we were in New York all uh, for, uh, for the first week of the summer, and we were like, yeah, no one comes out in costume and greets the audience, you know? And I'm sorry, I think it puts the audience on the spot. If the show's not very good, they gotta sit there and put on a brave face or try to escape you. All right, and as far as traditions of the theater, you're not supposed to be leaving the theater after a performance with the makeup that you have on for the show. That's a long-standing theatrical tradition. Okay, so, yes, Fez? What is gonna be the time between the ending of the first show and the beginning of the second show? If we're lucky, we're down between 10 minutes and a quarter after nine, which means we would need to we have about 10 to 15, uh, 15 to 20 minutes to get things turned up. Yes, sir. Okay. I always see a bunch of cars in front of your place. She has meetings at the house. She gives demonstrations. Isn't it like a pyramid scheme? What's that? You know, you get a bunch of people. There are all these levels. Everyone tries to get to the next level, tries to get to the top, like Scientology or the Mafia. My mom is not in the Mafia. She doesn't know you're here. She's gone this but afternoon. And it's cold out. They're cold. The logic. It's so appealing. When it's warm out, it turns cold. His cheeks are still warm. So you have a history. But only a recent history. I didn't come over to do drugs or listen to you insult my mom. I thought we were playing a game. No, it's not! I'm gonna rip his balls off! I mean, I don't need grape juice. <laughs> well, nobody needs grape juice. It'd just be nice. Otherwise, we've got milk. You want some? Awaiting the, the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. A dull, dark, Duck. A short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. 
Physical reaction. Oh no. Oh no, I'm backstage for a reason. Avoiding. Oops. <laughs> How hard? <laughs> <laughs> How hard did you hit him? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hit him. I need him. You need him. It's a, it's a slower reaction, you know. You don't feel it at first, but later on it's gonna hit me. Yeah. It's gonna hit me real bad because the adrenaline's gone. And when it hits me, I'm gonna hit the floor. <laughs> Just on stage, that's when it hits you. <laughs> WT oh, down on the ground. <laughs> yeah. WT. Down. What's wrong with him? Face yeah. plants the ground. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be down. He'll be like, stay See, down. Stay down, bad. please. Just stay down, down so I don't have down. to get back up. <laughs> stay down. Okay. Come on, kick down. We're supposed to stand up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> kick <laughs> down. <laughs> I apologize, He's going to be like this now all night. I always have to pee. <laughs> meant to be backstage for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I couldn't take like an acting yeah. role on TV. I would just keep looking You're at You're at 54%. 54% <laughs> now. 54. Yeah. Keep going. <coughs> yeah. Oh, you got my I'm so sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, I'm so sorry. Did you not at all? Why do you feel it in your stomach? I feel it. Throat. I, you know, I don't know about you, but I feel it where I got hit. Well, I feel like I got hit, but it feels like they just got knocked all the way up in my throat. Oh, God. I need to go upstairs for a second. I need to, like, pee. Make sure I'm not bruised. Suck it up. I know, right? So. Those that people are here to um, to usher, we're going to get to um, get to program work right away. If we have a ton of candy, I may hand out candy at both shows, but definitely for the 10:30 show. Yeah. Um, so don't take the candy that we have for our audience, please. Uh, nothing pleases me more than you spent than you spent thirty dollars for that crappy costume. Uh, it is crappy. <laughs> no, that's the story I've ever seen. All right, go get ready. And I'll go look at some, no, yes, I may look at some video in a moment. You can stop filming now. Okay, my name is Gabriel Manguel. I play Steve in Neighborhood 3 Requisition of Doom. I'm Casey McNaughton, and I am portraying the role of Michaela in Neighborhood 3 Requisition of Doom. Well, my name is Danny Dunderman. Uh, I'm playing uh, Blake slash Zombie Killer 14. And uh, Zombie Killer 14 is the avatar that's in Neighborhood 3, Requisition of Doom, the game. And uh, Blake is actually the kid or student that would be playing Zombie Killer 14. Um, my character plays a dad who's worried about his daughter. Well, the character plays a dad? You don't play the dad? Oh, no, no, oh. okay. I play a dad who uh, is worried about his daughter is losing his family and is trying to just basically figure out what's going on. Michaela is a 16 year old promiscuous girl or for lack of a better term she's a slut <laughs> and her main goal in the show is to seduce her next door neighbor Trevor. Unfortunately Trevor is immune to her advances and all he wants to do is play this video game called Neighborhood 3 Requisition of Doom. Are you getting everything you need? What's going on with Blake is um, he's in his real life he's feeling kind of uh, secluded, a little out. So he finds his way into the game and when he gets sucked into the game, he gets sucked into the game. He, that's, that's him. That's what he does. That's what he plays. He's addicted. So. His daughter is getting caught up in a online video game called Neighborhood 3. And she's basically become a zombie, and Steve is losing his daughter to that. I think it's been a great experience. 
uh, mostly for me because I love the tech end of shows and this has been a very tech heavy show and I think it's been the coolest show that I've ever been a part of especially when especially when uh, girls my age don't really get to do many shows like this like scary or tech heavy shows especially in a high school and I'm very thankful that Mr. O'Hara chose this show to be put up this year. I think it's a really awesome production. I think the cast is really awesome. I think it was, it's really fun putting it together. It's a lot of work, but it's really fun. And to see it come together as great as it's come together is awesome. Well, I know that he can be really hard on us sometimes, but I know that he really does care about his students. And it means a lot when he gives us his honest opinion instead of a sugar-coated version of it. Even if it does make some people in the cast cry. I just think that what he gives us is his pure opinion of like how the show is going. He's, you know, a nice guy on most occasions. You don't want to piss him off too much because if you do, say goodbye. I, I don't know. He's a good guy. Yeah. I think David, as a teacher, he's very, he's very honest. Very honest. Um, and that's probably the one of the best aspects about him. As a director, he's awesome. Probably the coolest director I've ever had. And all around great. One of the hardest guys you'll ever meet. But he gives some of the best direction I've ever had. So. I just think that it makes him better as a director to give the cast his honest opinion. And I think as a director, he gives his all, especially to the cast. And he, uh, he gives his whole to the show. And he know, he shows us that he really does care about us and the show and he cares about the school guys two good shows okay we have two under our belt now we can just you know like i said there's no judges that we're anticipating we're just it's just uh audiences that are here to come see a really good show so let's give a great show instead